Ooh. Real quick. Hello, everyone. Hello, replay viewers. Thanks for stopping by. If you're coming by and not watching this live on Sunday, I'm going to try to get this fixed up. I wish it would let me zoom in before I start my card. Or, I mean, before I start the live. But, you know, that's how it happens, right? That's how it goes. And I have my phone on airplane mode so we are ready to go so let me just get my ipad so i can see everybody and while i'm doing this i'll tell you real quick the granddaughter was riding her four-wheeler today and decided to drive it into a barbed fence well actually it was an accident but she did have her helmet on and she's all good she just i just got a text that she is good to go so she's doing wonderful let's see so we'll see who's in here hello deborah hello jennifer so she is doing well i'm just going to put this over here so i can see you guys' messages let's get this down a little bit let's get this down a little bit and we'll come down with it okay there we go all right, how's everybody doing? Hi, Jeannie from Ontario. Hey, hi, Lori. <laughs> Hello, guys. Okay, so we're gonna make a car today and we're gonna be using these fabulous products. Now, these are staying. This is retiring at the on June 2nd. Hi, Carol. Oh, welcome from Connecticut. <laughs> uh, this, this stamp set, Kindness and Compassion, is um, retiring and this is a great uh, stamp set for sympathy uh, we will be using the thank you today um, I was going to use this one right here but it was a little bit too long for what I was trying to do so I couldn't use it but you could use this sentiment as well okay um, she was riding her four-wheeler and her little bitty puppy dog was chasing her and she has another dog that usually likes to bite at her tires her four-wheeler tires you know he does it to all the tires and she thought that the little puppy was trying to do that and she didn't want to run over the puppy and when she turned back to look uh we think she hit a rock like she ran over a rock or something just right and it flipped her four-wheeler over into um barbed wire fence and it literally went over the fence but she uh jumped off the four-wheeler before it rolled over Thank God. She knew to jump off that four-wheeler. She's only five, y'all. Uh, tough as nails, though, and very, very smart. She jumped off it, but she did get kind of scratched up and everything on her arm, and we were, you know, kind of concerned because of tetanus and stuff like that being barbed wire. But she's, um, I just got a text that she's all clear. That she, they were worried about a concussion. She's good. Um, nothing wrong with her legs or anything like that. Um, she just got a um, banged up nose, and so they're waiting to see if they were going to do uh, stitches or just put some, you know, that adhesive stuff on it. So, yeah, she's good. Yes, it is scary. I know. I she When uh, my mama called me, she asked me where Grandpa was because he would have really freaked out. Um, and so I said, I, well, he's, I don't know if he's at the property or not. He, he wasn't at the property, actually. She was with her dad and her aunt and uncle and her, and her Mimi, her great-grandma. And, uh, so, so I had to call Steve and tell him, Hey, you know, let me finish. Let me tell you what happened and don't say nothing until I tell you. <laughs> Cause I knew that he would, you know, freak out. So, but she, her first question was to her mom when they were going to the hospital was, can I still stay the night at Nisi's house? <laughs> I was like, yeah, of course she can. What am I going to tell her? No, she had an accident. I'm going to say, no, you can't stay the night. No. So I said, yes. So I'm going to make my card and then she should be here by the time I get done with this so I know I'm so um, thank you Lord thank you father that she was not you know yeah exactly so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get started uh, we are gonna be using kindness and compassion and this these lovely papers now these were in the mini catalog and they were with the poppies uh, painted with poppy sweet I think and I just love these papers they're very very pretty i've already cut them down to six by six for my bingo uh for a door prize i think i'll probably do these half maybe half and half for a door prize uh hi margine hi cheryl so um 
but I wanted to show you guys what they look, and it's easier to show you guys in a six by six format what these papers look like, you know, so, uh, isn't that pretty though? Those are some pretty papers, so one, a couple of people will get that. All right, so we're going to be taking, we're going to do a little technique today, and it's called uh, grouted route. Is it, what's it, is that what it's called? Let me see, I had it right here, let me see if I get it. Yeah, design your grout tiles tutorial. And I'm breaking out the first of mark. I haven't used this in a minute on a card, so we're going to be using that. And like I said, we're going to be using the thank you of this. But let's go ahead and get started on our little technique, okay? Thank you. And no, isn't it pretty? Stampin' Up! did a wonderful job. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of Whisper Wire. I know my paper is dirty, uh, but I didn't want to use another piece. I should have, but I didn't. <laughs> I think I probably forgot. We're gonna take this, and this is actually cut out three and an eighth by three and an eighth. No, three and three eighths by three and three eighths, Denise. Not three and an eighth. Three and three eighths by three and three eighths. My bingo, it will be on January 20th. You guys, I have a lot of door prizes, and I gotta cut up a lot of paper. So I'm, I'm going through all of my DSP, and I have probably about two feet worth of DSP that I need to cut up, and I'm going to get all, Jan, no, uh, June, June, did I say January? <laughs> I'm sorry. June 20th, y'all, June 20th. The catalog comes out on the 3rd, um, and that's all, but all details will be on my Facebook page and, and my website. I think it's posting tomorrow. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to keep you guys, if, see if you're listening. See, I'm trying to make sure you're listening. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this um, this, this uh, Whisper White, again, which is cut at three and three eighths by three and three eighths. And I'm going to use the scoring tool on my trimmer, because it's just a little bit easier. And we are going to um, take it at two and a half, and we are going to score it at two and a half. Hold on, y'all. And, hold on, I got one, I got to check, make sure I'm right. Okay, yeah. No, it's supposed to be two and a quarter. Shoot. Well, we got to do that over again. Hold on. I had my note wrong. Is this, right? okay, I'm just going to use this. I had my note wrong. So, you're going to see me cut the whisper white again. So, three and three eighths, which is right here. Who's good with measurements? I grew up with measurements with my dad. And so, because he was a builder, so I've known how to write, read a tape measure since I was probably walking. Because he was always about teaching us. Sorry. Okay, again, we're going to take our scoring tool. And we're going to start at two and a quarter. Find it right here. Okay, and we're going to use, we're going to score. And then we're going to go down to one and an eighth. That's what I messed up. Okay, one and an eighth. And we're going to... Oh, it's in the it's in my um, purse. Um, sorry, Steve's asking me a question. One and eight. Then we're going to turn it around where the score lines are going this way, and we're going to score it again at two and a quarter and one and an eighth. He's going to go to Walmart and pick up some stuff for dinner because Trinity wants to make homemade pizzas tonight, and what Trinity wants, she gets today. So. Sorry, guys. I didn't. I tried to tell them earlier, but you know, guys, how they listen really good. <laughs> Get the pizza. You know, the pizza that's in the can, the the dough, and some mozzarella cheese and some pepperonis. Okay. Okay. Where's it at now? You know where the refrigerator the biscuits are. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Had to get him straightened up, you guys. You good? You good with uh, measurement, Cheryl? That's good. Sorry. I tried to get him to do that earlier. Okay, now we're going to take a piece of DSP, and I'm taking the one that's got all these um, poppies on it, and you can use any one you want. I'm just using this one. I liked it, this one. And we're going to cut these into one inch, one by one inch squares. This is where you got to be careful, okay? This is why I went ahead and scored this first. So I'm going to take this, and again, this is cut at three by three, and we're going to cut this down to one inch strips first. Let's make it easy on us a little bit. Okay. And we're going to take this one and place right here. 
I'll just put this right here where you guys can see it. And then we're going to take this one because the DSP that we're using goes a certain way. You want to make sure that they're that when you cut them and you lay them down as tiles, they're going the same. They're a certain way, okay? Then we're going to take this one and we're going to cut it down one inch square. Whoops. So one inch square. This is the bottom. So we're going to put it right there. And you just keep doing that until you've got all your one inch squares, okay? Be careful here. Oh, she was on a four-wheeler, and she had her helmet on. Uh, she rides it all the time, you guys. It's this. Is, I mean, she's been riding it since she was four. She got it when she turned five, so she's almost six because her birthday's in July, July 4th, matter of fact. Um, and she's been riding it. She's had no problems with it. And today, um, she turned around to look at her puppy dog, and we think she must have hit a rock or something. And um, she hit it just right. And uh, it went over a barbed wire fence and rocks and stuff. But she jumped off of it before it actually flipped over the barbed wire fence. So she is cut up pretty good on her arm and her little face. But uh, she is okay. Thank you, Lord. She is okay. So she just waiting. They had to run a scan, you know, CT scan and all that stuff, you know. Make sure she didn't have a concussion because she did hit her head a little bit. And uh, had kind of got sick a little bit when they were cleaning her up. Hi, Deanna. So, but yeah, she's fine. Thank you. You know, like I said, thank you. We were praying and stuff. So, and you, nobody can go up there because of everything that's going on with, you know, going on. So, you know, and what happens when you take a kid that's had an accident like that? The doctors ask you questions because that's their job. You know, and they were kind of asking her questions like, were you not watching her? Like, yeah, everybody was outside. But she rides, I mean, it's just like she's riding her bike. You know, she rides her bike. It's a, We have a long driveway out there. And so, you know. Okay. Hello, Miss Linda. Okay. So now we're going to take our Tombow. And you can use any adhesive you want. I'm just going to use Tombow. And I'm just going to go in my squares. And I'm going to pick one, each one up. I'm going to try to go. Make sure you go on the corners really well. Okay. And then I've got, oh, the sun just went down. Did you all see that? And I'm going to put it inside the square, line it up in between the lines. You're going to kind of make it like a mat. You're going to lay this down. And I'll show you guys. Maybe I'll get it in a little closer so you guys can see. See how that one's got some white around it? That's kind of what you want to do. So you take the next one. And hi, Kim. Yes, they do, Carol. They do. And that's what I said. I said, you know, the doctors are doing their job, but she is a country girl. She, you know, she has no fear. And um, she plays softball. You know, anything like that could happen even playing softball, you guys. You know what I mean? They can get hit in the head with the softball. So I'm just glad she's good, you know. I'm glad she's good. So, hey, Kim, we're talking about Trinity. How's your little grandbabies doing? Hi, Sheila. From Rogers. Hey, I'm from, uh, I live in uh, uh, Cabot. How are you? So, yeah. So, you know, that's how it is down here. We ride our four-wheelers. And she's got a little one. Um, when I say she's got a four-wheeler, I don't mean like a great big ATV, y'all. It's a four-wheeler. I want to say they call them like 50s or something. I'll have to post a picture on my Facebook. But it did mess up her four-wheeler, so... That's going to have to be fixed. She's like, yeah, can I still stay the night at Nisi's? Because <laughs> she was supposed to stay Friday and it didn't happen. Then she was going to stay last night. And I'm just making sure I've got these all still lined up. Um, and it didn't happen because they were out at Jennifer's late. Uh, and she was tired, so she just went on home. So she was definitely staying the night. So she's getting to, we're going to make homemade pizzas tonight. <laughs> Growing, I know, right? Growing too fast. I know the baby, he's already over a month old. He's like, oh my goodness, I ain't, couldn't even tell you. A tiny, yeah. She had a small, well, she had a Barbie car. But she never rode that thing. So, that's why they decide, and, you know, and of course, Tyler's upset. Oh, I shouldn't have got her the four-wheeler. But I'm like, it happens. It could have happened from anything. 
you know? Don't beat yourself up. Kids get scrapes. It happens. But this little one has, like, she broke her leg. When was this she broke her leg? It's about two years ago now. I think she was three. And um, her Mimi, her, her other Mimi, her Mimi, Texas, uh, they had bought her this plastic thing that actually went over her leg where she could still swim because it was summertime. Y'all, she would walk on that leg and it was straight, like her, you know, because of cast. She was walking like no big deal. I mean, she could probably outwalk me on in that thing. But yeah, she's tough. She's a tough little girl. Yeah, climate, yeah. <laughs> Commentary, I mean, you know. So... So we'll, I'll be done with this by the time she gets here. And we'll make pizzas. And then we probably will come in here and create. She loves to play doctor. We'll see if she wants to play doctor today because uh, she's been at the doctor's, you know. So she'll probably want to play doctor because she's probably picked up a few tips, y'all. <laughs> picked up a few tips from the doctor's office. Like, okay, well, you know, I was on my four-wheeler. <laughs> she makes up these little stories. And I got to check her out and everything. Okay, so now that we have that done, it's time to do our birthmark. And what we're going to do is I've just got a piece of scratch paper here, and I'm going to take my birthmark, and I'm just going to um, start putting some birthmark on my piece here. And I'm not using any embossing buddy uh, because, you know, I, I want it all over the place. Uh Yes, it's a real four-wheeler. Like, it's, yes, it goes, oh, I don't know how fast it goes. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't go that fast, but it goes fast enough for her, you know. And she's always wanting her daddy to turn it up. He's like, no, we'll wait a little bit. So, yeah, it's a real, yeah, it takes gas. But it's like a small four-wheeler. It's like, you know, like, like the big ones. All right, now we're going to take our clear embossing powder. And I'm going to, isn't that pretty paper? Especially, I don't know if you guys can see that with the Versamark, but it gives it like a little sheen already. So pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of put that on there like that. And, yeah, she'll be in here wanting to play doctor. I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all guys. I'll have to post it on my Facebook page and say, yep. Playing doctor. Well, and her story here lately about going to the doctor has been, well, you know, I broke my leg and then she'll come like the next day. We'll play doctor again. She's like, well, you know, I was here a couple weeks ago for my broke leg. Yeah, well, I think it's, I don't know if it's healing right. And, you know, we had to put a cast on it and everything, y'all. It's funny. It's She's a sweetheart. Okay, now we're going to take this. I'm going to shake this off with a trash can. All right, so I don't knock. That seems like that stuff gets everywhere. I know, right, Kim? <laughs> okay, be really careful. Oh, man. I don't want to mess that up. I'm going to have to put some more on that. Hold on just a second. Touch that. And I just want to make sure that... Okay. Now, put this back on. Close it. Or Denise will spill it everywhere. Oh, Miss Linda. Thank you. All right. I'm going to turn my embossing tool on so you guys um, may not. You may want to turn the sound down for just a minute. All right. Here we go. I can heat it up in my hand. Okay. Let's see. I love to watch this. Don't you guys? Takes a minute for it to pick up. But once it does, man, is it pretty. I love that it gives it like a glass look. Okay, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to burn my fingers. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, 
I just want to make sure I got inside the grout lines, basically. I'm just going to go over it one more time. Just kind of making sure that I got all of it. Once you get a hold of it, it like it go. It's like it takes a second for it to catch, and then once it catches, that embossing powder just melts. Okay. Okay. And the, oh my gosh, y'all, that is so hot. Can y'all see that? Now, can you see that sheen? Oh, there we go. I'm trying to show it to you. With the sun coming in, in and out, clouds, 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 clouds. What can you do with them? What can you do with them? Y'all, okay, so yesterday we had our Zoom crop. And let me tell you, next time I do the Zoom crop, all that we I started at 8 o'clock yesterday morning, went to midnight. And, oh my goodness, I was so tired. I slept till 8.30 this morning. And normally I've been getting up like 6.30 and 7. Really, Carol? Oh, yeah. It is, isn't this so pretty? It looks like uh, tiles. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. It really brings out the color in this paper. I wish y'all could see it in person. Okay, so we're going to set that to the side for right now. Let me bring you guys back up. Okay. And we're going to do our little bit of stamping. So I've got a piece of Whisper White. This is cut at three and a quarters by two and a half inches on Whisper White. And we're going to get out our D block. And I'm going to get out this thank you. Again, you can use this one right here. You just need a longer piece of Whisper White. Just measure it. Uh, and it will fit. It just, um, I thought it was too big for this. Okay. Yes, almost makes it look 3D. Yes, definitely. So I'm going to take my thank you. And lay this down. I always like to lay this down and then pick it up. I don't know why. Okay. And we're going to take some Blackberry Bliss. Now, I was thinking about, um, like, doing the technique where I, you know, I, I uh, take the stamp, put it in the Versa Mark, and then stamp it in the color, and then you, it gives you any color embossing powder you want with ink. But I decided I didn't want to do that, but I think I'm going to do it anyways, because I think I want it to pop too. So we'll just show you guys this. Okay, so I'm just going to ink this up. Okay, and then I'm going to ink it up in my ink. It does not hurt your ink pad at all. And then I'm going to Try to stamp this. Oh my gosh, y'all have to take my glasses off. Have to take, it has to go on exactly right or it, it is too big. Okay. We'll see if I worked. We'll see if it worked. Nope. Okay, we'll have to turn it over. Oh, I don't like that other side. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to do it again. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Just because I didn't like the way that looked. So let me say my stamp. I, just, I can't, I don't want it any bigger because it's too big. Uh, it makes, it's, you know, but I want to do this sentiment. So <laughs> I wanted to use this stamp set. I'm going to make it work, y'all. We're going to make it work. Okay. So three and a quarters. Let's do three and a quarter. What did I say? Two and a half? By two and a half. Okay. We're going to do this till I get this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry too, Miss Linda, but I am going to do another one. But I got, I got, how many cards, guys, did I get done? Like three? I literally, well, Trinity was here in the morning around 11. She was here for a couple hours. And, um, then I was talking to everybody, so I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but I did get her area cleaned up and I did make three cards and we made some wonderful memories. So that's the important part, right? And I cannot wait to do it again. We have people from Australia. They came later in the evening for us. Um, and then we had people from the UK. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down. Whoops, I gotta ink this up. Okay. Oh, I see. It's right there. Let me 
Let's see if this works. Let me, hold on, let me just test it. Okay, that worked like that, and of course it worked on the paper and not, so we're gonna make sure. I just had to make sure before I inked up another piece of cardstock. I didn't wanna have to cut it again. Okay, ink it up, inverse a mark. Then take your ink pad, put it right here, ink it up. Did it get inked up? Okay, we're gonna see. We're going to see, guys. So, if you want to join us next time, I won't do one this Saturday because um, I need to take a break next Saturday and go spend some time with the grandkids, the grandboys, go out to the property, you know, just get some vitamin D. Unless it's raining. If I find out it's raining, I'll do it again. Okay. Okay. So, let's see if this works. I've done it in the past and it does work, but let's see if it works on such a small piece of cardstock. Because something I don't know if it's that ink or what. Looks like you need re-inker, doesn't it? And I didn't use my embossing buddy. That's okay. I'm gonna use my finger. Okay. Use my finger to wipe that stuff off. But uh, I would like to do it again. I was thinking on a Friday, in case people have our off on Friday, in case anybody's working on Saturday. Okay, I'm gonna use this again. Oh, no, I'm not. Look, I overheated it. I'm kind of glad that did that so you guys can see that Stampin' Up! takes security very seriously. So, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna finish the card and we'll come back to this. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is take a piece of cardstock that's cut at four and a quarter by 11 and 11, and I'm going to take my little score tool over here, and I'm going to score it at five and a half. That sun and that cloud are just messing with my filming here. I'm glad this is alive. So you guys understand what I'm going through with the, with the lighting here. My goodness. Take that, let's take our bone folder, let's burnish it a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna layer our card. Got a piece of Whisper White here. This is cut at four and eight by five and three eighths. A piece of that DSP. This is a different piece of it and that gorgeous, but we're gonna be using this side. And this is Blackberry Bliss. I don't know if I said that right on this one. Blackberry Bliss. So I'm gonna take the Blackberry Bliss. I mean the this DSP and I'm going to where's my snail there it is take my snail and rub it over there so has everybody had a great weekend you guys been like um we've been hanging out doing outside I know it's you know we can't go anywhere right now but have you guys kind of been hanging outside planting anything or you just stayed in house what's going on with y'all yeah, anybody watching any kind of binge-worthy shows? I really haven't been watching a lot of TV. I do have it on in my craft room because I like white noise. Um, you know, I like to have noise in the background. But I haven't really been, like... I've been watching Midsummer Murders on YouTube. It's an English, a UK show. But I kind of watch that more at night when I'm ready for bed. So, you know... And I was kind of lazy today. Um, I haven't done a whole lot, but I was drained from yesterday. <laughs> so, we're just going to take... Oh! Did y'all hear that? <laughs> because I had it left it on. Did you hear it? Okay, now we, we can do that, but I'll do that in a second. And then, uh, I know, right, Jennifer? I love that show, too. It's raining there. Oh, rained all day today. Well, we kind of got that, was it Friday we got rain late evening? So that's probably about right because it rained till about yesterday morning, early morning. So that's about right. Okay, we're going to take this and this is cut at, make sure I'm saying this right. Yeah, three and a half by three and a half. And then we're going to take our lovely little tile here and we're going to put some adhesive on it. And I'm going to put quite a bit of adhesive because I want this to really stick down because of all the bumps and lines and stuff and I'm gonna line this up on my cardstock very carefully okay 
Look at that. Oh my gosh, y'all. I wish y'all could see this. I hope that's showing good in there. It is so pretty. And we're going to take some... Where's my dimensionals? Oh, there's a... Take some black dimensionals. It is sunny and beautiful in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. You know, I don't think I've ever been to Wisconsin. I lived in Iowa for a while while I was going to school because my dad's family's from there. My And I have... Five of my six brothers live in Iowa. I have two that live in Des Moines. No, three that live in Des Moines. One and one that live in, see, three that live in Des Moines. No, four that live in Des Moines. And one that lives in Creston. And then I have another brother that lives in Alabama. Him and I live in the South. <laughs> um, and then, because their, their mom was from Arkansas. That's how I got to Arkansas. And then, uh, but my dad was from Iowa. Every 10 minutes. Oh, I bet. They're like, okay, it's ready. We're ready to go outside. <laughs> Bless them. Oh, Yeah, they don't understand. Oh, it's raining. But we want to go play. We want to go play in the rain. Bella Vista. I know where Bella Vista is at. Yeah. It came from Texas yesterday. <laughs> is that where? Yeah, Linda. <laughs> Did you guys have rain all day yesterday, Linda? And Okay, now when you guys lay this down, make sure it's right side up. You don't want to do it this way where the poppies are going this way. You don't want to do this way. Poppies are going down that way. So make sure you're looking at your DSP the way it's going. And we're just going to lay this down. Make sure that's straight, Denise. Okay. Okay, that's ready. Now we know our heat tool's ready. I kind of like that feature. That it shits off. Oh, no. Please don't. Please don't. Um, because it's not going to burn up my, you know, my stuff here. Oh, I touched it. Oh, yes. Off and on. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, we didn't have any rain yesterday. I think I'm going to use my tweezers for this action here. Wipe this off. Wipe the tweezers off. All right, I'm going to use my tweezers so it doesn't burn my hand this time. Because that was hot, y'all. All right. Start. Let it catch. Can y'all see that? I love when it happens like that. See if it's got it all. Did you get it all? I can't see it. Well, we'll just go over it and make sure. I think it got it all. Okay. That card is very cute. Oh, yeah, definitely. I love when y'all say that. Magic. Love watching, right? Love watching that happen. Okay, now, where's my other, oh, so this Blackberry Bliss is cut at, is that cut at one? No, seven eighths by two and five eighths. I'm just trying to think what this size was. It's always a little bit bigger. And I think I don't want to, like, press on that, so I'm going to use my Tombow. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use my Tombow instead of, my, I know it will be fine, but I'm just going to use this. So it doesn't, I don't press on it too much. Okay. Turn that over. I'll show you guys that mistake. I don't know what that is on there. Okay. What is that on there? Let me see. Let me get up my little two. I don't know if it'll take it. Oh, it did. I have an eraser too, but I just thought I'd use this. It picked it up. It must have been some kind of adhesive. Okay, and then we're not going to put dimensionals on this. I want that to be more flat, okay? So we'll take some more of this lovely Tombow that, you know, I have a love-hate relationship with. I like it because it gives me time to adjust when I lay down, but I don't like it because it gets so sticky on my hands. So it's a love-hate. And then we're going to lay this down, and it gives me a minute to line it up. 
line it up. There you go. See, right there. Okay, there we go. There is our, what I, what I say it was called? Let me see. Let me make more picture. Gra uh, designer grouted tiles tutorial. That's what it's called. Designer tiles. That is some lovely work. And I need to remember this technique for next, next catalog too. But there you go. That's how to use up some DSP. So if you've got some DSP that kind of coordinate with each other, like this one, you know how they'll do different type, types of tile, like they'll kind of, you know, put different ones. Um, you could do that. You could use these bigger boulder pieces. You could make it, you could actually make it the whole card. You could do one that was just a little bit larger and then like put your sentiment in the middle or down the side or anything like that. Yes, please. I want you to please. And if you do, please share it over on the Ladybug Stamp and Spot group page. I'd love to see it. Okay. So you guys like that? I hope you guys can see that. Good. I try to move it around a little bit so you guys can see the shine. There it is. And can you see the um, the sentiment? It is raised. It was embossed. So if you don't have that color embossing powder, that's how you do it. Okay. I know some of you guys, most of you guys know that technique. I've done it many times. And some of you guys may be just learning that. So I will, Carol. I will. We can't be. Yeah. I know. And you know what? We have been very blessed um, to be around the kids, you know, with the property because they're you know, like, um, the, my grandsons are already are homeschooled. So at the school being out didn't really affect them because they were already homeschooled. And, um, you know, we'd have to be really careful with them. But, so, I will. I will. We definitely, I just hear Steve coming in with the pizza making stuff now. So, all right, my lovelies. Well, thanks for stopping by t today for our quick little tutorial. I know it was a, it was quick again, but I'm, we'd like to keep these down to 30 to 45 minutes. I know we all have things to do, but I want to be able to show you guys something fun. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you. I love hanging out with you guys. You guys are like, you're like, uh, what do you call it? My sanity. I know they do grow up so fast. You guys are like my sanity. Like I, I come in here and I have, uh, um, uh, this is like my safe place. <laughs> gives me a break hanging out with you guys all right well you have a lovely rest of the week and i will see you guys on thursday at 6 30 for another live i will be posting a video on tuesday i have a card for the christmas challenge stampathon and i will be posting that on tuesday even though i'm not taking for admin you know like in charge of it this year i am i do want to make a card because i like the colors this month and it was a little bit of a challenge for me so that will be posted on tuesday all right Please make sure that you like and share my videos. I'd appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. That would be great. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful week. I love y'all. And God bless. Bye. I got to figure out how to shut it off, don't I?